A surprise mid-March snowstorm didn't deter fans of weather and history from showing up to the Douglas County Historical Society's monthly second Sunday lecture series, focusing this month on the tornado of 1913. Um, I wanted to be a meteorologist growing up until I found out that there was like a lot of calculus in it. <laughs> the Historical Society's own Cassandra Novotny says that this storm is largely overlooked and eclipsed by the tornado of 1975. Most people in Omaha today and in Douglas County are more familiar with the 1975 tornado. However, the 1913 tornado was um, perhaps Nebraska's most destructive natural disaster on the books. Six tornadoes touched down that day, um, cutting a seven-mile ribbon through Douglas County. First tornado itself touched down in Ralston, cut its way through Omaha, through North Omaha, before heading over into southwestern Iowa. One of the experts on the panel is Catherine Biba, an Ivy League doctoral candidate whose dissertation focuses on the tornado of 1913. She often finds herself educating people on the storm. When I tell people I'm studying an, an Omaha tornado, oh, the one in 1970, whatever it was, um, you know, they, they've all heard of that one, they know of that one, um, but, you know, it, it seems like there was a, a big push to kind of almost, you know, brush this under the rug. The tornado of 1913 was tragic, but the people of Omaha were resilient, and it's no surprise at how quickly the city bounced back. It's also no surprise that 100 years later, when a panel gets together to discuss extreme weather in Nebraska, there's a blizzard in March. For the Omaha News, I'm Kevin Grace.